हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू स्किल्स विल ट्रेनिंग यूट्यूब चैनल माय सेल्फ मोहम्मद जुबैर एंड दिस चैनल इज ऑल अबाउट शोइंग यू हाउ टू बिकम ए हाईली पेड आईटी प्रो रियली फास्ट सो द टॉपिक ऑफ टुडेज वीडियो इज टॉप फाइव बेस्ट लिनक्स डिस्ट्रोज फॉर प्रोग्रामिंग कोडिंग सो विदाउट एनी फर्दर अडू लेट्स गेट स्टार्टेड There are a lot of Linux distributions and we are getting more and more with time passing. It might not be easy for someone new to Linux distributions or willing to shift from other operating system as there are many distributions to choose from. Number 1, Ubuntu. If I say that Ubuntu is one of the most used Linux distribution, it would not be wrong. Many people who shift to Linux distributions from Windows or Mac operating system choose Ubuntu as the Linux distribution. Not only is it stable, but it's lightweight and it has a lot to offer. This Linux distribution is based on Debian, which means there are many packages and libraries available that can be used for programming and coding. The other factor that makes Ubuntu a great choice for programming is its excellent support for emerging technologies like machine learning deep learning artificial intelligence etc other than that you will have access to same software packages no matter what version of ubuntu you are using it makes it a trait of consistency for ubuntu massive community support easy hardware upgradation and easy to understand user interface are other factors that make ubuntu such a great choice for programming here i will take you through software center and terminal and i will show you that how you can install and download different programming languages different programming tools libraries and packages for your programming and coding so here is my software center or in ubuntu we call it as ubuntu software from here you can download different ides different programming packages different libraries and many other thing other than that we have another way to download different things for example if you want to download python or java into your linux distribution you can do so by just using simple command for example i'll show you that how you can download and install python in your ubuntu with a simple command so the command is sudo apt install python and just hit enter give it your password and it enter it will download and install the python in your ubuntu linux distribution i have already done that that is why it says zero upgraded zero newly installed and zero to remove and zero not upgraded now i'll show you the version of python in my ubuntu linux distribution for that i will just write here python 3 space dash dash version and i will just hit enter we have the python version 3.8 In case if you want to download and install the Java, you just need to write sudo apt install default dash JDK and just hit enter. So this is how you can have different programming languages, packages, libraries for your programming and coding purposes into your Ubuntu. The second one in my list is Linux Mint. Some people claim that Linux Mint is even better than Ubuntu for programming. especially for python java and .net core i can't entirely agree with this phenomena but yes linux mint is one of the outstanding linux distribution you can consider for programming and coding this linux distribution is based on debian which means many packages and libraries can be used for programming and coding the same as in ubuntu and linux mint also tries to give you the more refined version of ubuntu and the other reason to consider linux mint is that it uses fewer hardware resources and the other linux mint version like the linux mint mate and linux mint xfce consumes even fewer resources than the linux mint cinnamon we also have the long term support for this linux distribution You can install all popular IDEs in this Linux distribution and start working on your programming tasks. At the moment, I'll show you that how much resources Linux Mint consumes in order to give you the best performance. So I'll open my terminal. In that, I will run a command that is stop. 
and here you can see at the moment it is using almost 940 megabytes of my ram and these are different processes users and the percentage of resources consumed by each process so as you can see it is not consuming a lot of resources and obviously we need more number of resources when we want to perform some heavy stuff with our programs for example when you develop an application for machine learning or deep learning in python obviously you will need some resources to run your algorithms and now let's talk about the software center this is the software center and you can download a lot of ides for your programming for example i will just search for atom in here atom is an ide that is very prominent for python programming you can just search for it and here we have the atom available in linux mint now let's see if we have Visual Studio Code available or not. Cause Visual Studio Code is an other IDE that is very prominent for a lot of programming languages. For example, Java, C++, Python, PHP and many more. And here we have Visual Studio Code. So that's a really good news and really advantageous one that we have a lot of flexibility available in Linux Mint in terms of programming and coding. So go ahead, I'm using the Linux Mint Cinnamon at the time, you can download any version of Linux Mint and start working on your programs or coding. Number 3, Fedora. Fedora is another easy to use and stable Linux distribution that you can use for programming and coding. And we just have the latest version of Fedora and that is Fedora 35. And they have updated every open source software for programming and every open source library for your programming and coding. This Linux distribution offers extensive libraries and no other Linux distribution has the same support for the open source platforms and software. That is why people who love popular frameworks like OpenCV, TensorFlow, PyTorch and Keras go for this Linux distribution. Other than that, this Linux distribution is a lightweight and works fine even on those machines having average resources. And not only that, we have a massive community of Fedora users. So in case if you ever get into any trouble, the Fedora has your back. Now let's talk about the software, packages and libraries for programming in Fedora. I'll take you to the software center of Fedora and from there we'll see what do we have. So this is the software center of Fedora and here we have a separate category that says develop in this category you will find everything related to programming and coding so that shows that fedora itself is interested in programming and coding for the people so as you can see we have different things available related to programming here we have the database tool then you have different programming languages libraries and packages so come here explore Fedora and enjoy using this wonderful Linux distribution for your programming and coding. And as I have mentioned earlier that in Fedora 35, we have the latest version of open source softwares, libraries and packages for programming. And Python is one of the prominent one. So we are getting Python version 3.10 in Fedora 35. Number four, Manjaro. The first reason to use an Linux distribution is the comfortability and ease of use. And Manjaro is one of those Linux distributions that are easy to use. And not only that, it is also very stable. This Linux distribution is based on Arc Linux and has one of the most accessible installers unlike other Arch Linux based distros. You can customize it making it lovable and Manjaro has a well thought out package manager that makes it easy for the programmers to install all the development tools that you might need for the programming or coding. It also has various flavors in terms of the desktop environment like we have XFCE, Genome and KDE etc. And because of our user repository, Manjaro has a lot to offer in terms of programming tools and software. As it has the robust community, the support is always there if you run into any problem. As you can see that how cool and how pleasing to the eyes this interface is. If you click on this start button, 
here we have a very unique and very good looking interface just like the one in windows 7 here we have different applications that we have in manjaro and here we have all application you can come here and you can look for anything and as i have talked about the package manager in order to use the package manager you just need to search for it so this is the software center of manjaro from here you can download and install any ide that you want for programming and coding in your linux distribution so download manjaro and install it and i'm sure you will love this linux distribution for your programs and for your coding the last linux distribution for this video is OpenSUSE. this linux distribution was released in 2005 and it's a community driven project it is recommended for the developers and programmers because we have the availability of different programming languages like java perl c c etc and just like the other four linux distribution that i have discussed earlier this distro also has excellent community support one of the bright feature of using this distro is its package manager that is yast so if i write here software here you can see we have yast software manager software management and yast software repository so from here you can download different programming languages libraries packages for your programming purposes we have two version of open source one is tumbleweed and the second one is leap tumbleweed is for gamers and its leap version is tuned specially for the programmers and coders at the moment i am using open source leap version so it is optimized for programming and coding purposes so that was all about the five linux distros that you can consider for programming and with that we are done for today's video leave a like subscribe and press the bell icon we will see you in the next video till then take care